So that's how I've been feeling recently. <laughs> I have really been struggling mentally and emotionally recently, and I decided I have to do something about it. So here's the plan. What I need is a mental reset day. In fact, a mental glow up day. Sounds kind of nice, doesn't it? <laughs> I always see these YouTube videos of people doing like physical glow ups of their body and I realized I've been struggling so much mentally that it would be great to have a mental glow up day. So here's what I think is necessary for a mental glow up day. Emotional processing. <laughs> This is important because I feel like I'm holding a lot of emotions deep down inside and have no place to release them. And so I need to have a space to do that. Two, a reconnection to self. The reason this is so important is because recently I feel so bogged down and struggling mentally that I don't feel connected to myself. I only feel connected to the negative feelings inside of my body. Not ideal. So I'd like to reconnect with me. Reconnecting to others. I don't know about you, but when I struggle mentally, I shut everyone out. I tend to isolate and hide myself from the world and spend a lot of time alone, and I've been doing that recently, and so I need to reconnect with some of the close relationships I have in my life. Four is fun. <laughs> The truth is I need a space for fun right now. I need a space for enjoyment, positivity, and like greatness. That would be nice. So let's give this a try. <sighs> Good morning. Welcome to Glow Up Day. I just got to my workout class. I spent that whole drive having conversations out loud with people that I am angry with or upset with or have issues with that are unresolved. And I just ah, said all the things out loud and like I'm in a pissed off fucking mood now. Editing Haley here. For context, the day prior to doing my mental glow up day, my coach made this suggestion that to process some of the emotions that I was holding deep, deep down, I should bring them up and then give myself a physical space to process them, thus making myself super pissed off in the drive to my workout class so that I can then be pissed off in my workout class and then work through it through movement. Okay, back to the video. I'm really pissed off and like in a bad mood, which is what we wanted. And now I am going to go into this workout class and hopefully give that shit mood and that anger a space to exit my body. I feel so fucking pissed off right now. <laughs> this is somewhere I've gone pretty regularly for workout classes and I knew this specific class was gonna be good for emotions because you yell and you scream and you get really angry and I knew it was gonna feel good. The audio is really bad here, but essentially I didn't wanna film everyone as they were working out. So this is my recreation of the class. So after this super intense workout class, I got myself a little treat and a meal and I made sure to refuel myself. And I also journaled for a little bit to get out the last bit of emotions that might've been lingering from the class or before the class. All right, I didn't eat all my breakfast, which I guess is more of like a lunch brunch, like 11.30 or something now. The fun thing about this workout studio that's also a cafe is that it's right next to a river. And so I am now making my way down to the river because I think mentally, one of the best things we can do for ourselves is spend time outdoors. And I honestly don't do it enough now because I work inside most of the time on the computer or on my phone. And so this is a good reminder to like get outside. It's sunny today for the first time in forever. So I'm gonna sit, enjoy the sun and not feel like I need to do anything and just be. Watch me dissociate for like 10 minutes and dig a hole with a stick. <laughs> four months <laughs> that having one day of sun changes the fucking game. It's time to head home. I've got therapy at 1.30, which in terms of a mental glow up day, I think therapy is so good to just get the shit out that you need support on or an alternative perspective on. I'm excited for therapy. When I got out of the workout class, honestly, my first thought was maybe I don't need therapy now. Maybe this is all I needed. And that <laughs> leads me to believe that I definitely need therapy still. I heard someone say on the days that you feel like you want to cancel therapy, those are probably the days you need it the most. So we're running with that. I'm not gonna cancel it. Um, I'd have to pay for it anyways, so we're gonna go. I'd like to spend more time outside today if I can. That is gonna be another goal for today. I think on a mental glow up day, a mental reset day, one of the most important things is not being too rigid <laughs> because you don't need to add that pressure on yourself. It's not needed, so up we go, back to the car. 
So on the way here, I was listening to like angry, loud, upbeat music that helped me pull those feelings forward. I'm done with those feelings for now. Um, I might pull them back up for therapy, I don't know. But I feel like I released what I needed to release in that workout class. And so now I'm gonna shift the vibe of my music to match where I want my mentality to go and where I feel that my emotions are currently. So I'm gonna put just some like upbeat, happy, it's sunny out music. I find that music is such a great way for us to pull feelings forward. So I'm gonna put myself in a happy mood. I'm already now in a happy mood, but I want to like accentuate that and music will do that. So I'm gonna do that now and drive home. I've got 30 minutes uh, of driving up next. So let's go. Just got home. Usually I would shower right away after a workout class, but I only have about an hour until my therapy and I realize this guy has not been out yet, so I'm gonna take him around the block, do my therapy still in these clothes, and then once therapy is done, I can do like a complete mental reset, shower or bath or whatever it is, and center myself in for the rest of the day. So that is the plan now. Out and about we go. I think he's gonna like it. Yeah. So I didn't wear my headphones on this walk for two reasons. One, it's important for me to be aware of what's going on because of Obi. But secondary, on a mental reset day, I want to be present. And sometimes I find listening to music or a podcast can almost distract me. So being present. Therapy is in 20 minutes, so I'm going to unload my dishwasher, drink some water, and then get prepped and sit down and like center myself to do therapy. Time to recount my childhood. <laughs> when it comes to therapy, I usually do it in person. I've been doing therapy since I was a little lass, um, but the therapist I'm currently with is specifically for autistic adults. And I find that so helpful. Sorry if you can hear him. He's a chompin'. I find it so helpful because I don't have to explain certain things, she just gets them. I'm looking forward to this session. Will I cry? I actually don't think so. I feel really like emotionally sound. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, <laughs> so therapy is done. That was so good. I haven't done a therapy session since October of last year. It was long overdue. Honestly, I stopped because of how expensive it is, but I was still doing coaching, which is great and really supportive, but I needed a sit down with my therapist and it was exactly what I needed. <laughs> One of the main things that I have mentally been struggling with is feeling as though I need to fix every negative problem that ever shows up, even problems that are out of my control and I have no ability to fix, which then puts me in a really uncomfortable position of just feeling really shitty and feeling disappointed with myself that I can't fix it, even though it's out of my control. Why do I do that? <laughs> and so we talked about how to vocalize and externalize when I'm feeling as though I need to fix something. The other thing that I've been struggling with is honestly, I've been feeling more insecure. I've been struggling with feeling like I'm good enough because of events that have happened in my life over the last three months. She was reminding me that in the moments that I'm feeling insecure, I can externalize it and then state the facts. And these are facts that I need to preemptively write down when I'm not in that situation. So the facts being, I'm a caring and loving person. I am an empathetic person. I care for other people. I care for myself. I am strong. I set boundaries that um, protect me and I will listen to those. There are certain things that are out of my control and I cannot fix them or solve them. And to just remind myself of those truths and facts in the moments that I feel insecure. So it's like affirmations, but I like the term facts. <laughs> I don't know, the autism is like, yeah, it's a fact. So I can't be insecure or I'm not insecure because actually the truth is and the fact is, is that I fucking rock. <laughs> so therapy, really good. So I do have a little bit of homework that I need to complete for my therapy, but I'm going to not do that in this moment. I am feeling that need to like wash everything away. So I'm going to shower. I'm gonna get in really cozy, comfortable clothes. And I also am noticing this like 
stress or anxiety around work because I took a day off of work to do this mental glow up day. Totally could have done it on a weekend, but it felt necessary to do today. <laughs> So I'm going to honor the fact that my body is craving work right now. So I'm gonna do my relaxation. I'm gonna get some more food and then I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna work for a little bit and then check in with myself for what I need. I do have my best friends coming over tonight for our spa night, which is all part of the mental glow up day. This is the point of having them over. I have time and the capacity and ability to do some work. And if that's gonna make me feel better, then why wouldn't I do it? Shower time, relax time, let's go. I am all clean. Now I'm gonna do the follow-up to an everything shower. I'm going to moisturize, I'm gonna clip my nails, I'm going to put some cream in my hair, I'm gonna do all the goodies because that, I don't know, I mentally feel way better when I physically take care of myself. It's almost like the two are connected. Who would know? Who would know? <laughs> I think honestly one of the most important parts of mentally resetting is ensuring you have the fuel in your body to do so. So let's do that now. Fuel. I am now going to sit for a bit and do some work, probably 30 to 45 minutes of work or so, I guess, maybe even more, but I'm gonna do work until it no longer feels good and then see what I'm craving after that. I feel very relaxed, but in the back of my head, I have this like twittering feeling of like, I'd like to be productive. And so I'm gonna do that. I don't think mental reset means mental shutdown. I think what it means is listening to what your brain needs and doing those things. And right now what my brain is asking for is product productivity, productive work, and I'm gonna do that, work time. I've got everything set up now for my friends coming over. I've got face masks, nose pore strips, got some tea that's gonna be out and ready. I've put some candles around so that once it gets a little bit darker out, we can light those. I'm gonna put some nice chill music in the background. I think why having people as part of my mental reset is so important is because one, I really appreciate having alternative perspectives from people. And so with what I've been going through recently, it's helpful to do therapy and things of course, um, but it's also helpful to keep my friends in the loop because it brings us closer to each other. It allows me to hear their perspectives and it's just so supportive. As a person that is extroverted as well, resetting and grounding and like moving forward in a more positive note, it's just easier to do with other people because I naturally get energy and enjoyment from being around others. So especially my best friends, like come on, come on. They will be here soon and then we will get started. I'm excited, can you tell? My friends and I had planned to do some tarot card readings, which honestly is not something we've ever done together, but ended up being silly and fun since we don't take this stuff very seriously. I've known these gals for a year and a half or so, and they are the first friends I have ever had and been able to be unmasked around and authentically myself. So connecting with them tonight was amazing. Yours looks so chic. No, Mine looks like a so serial chic. killer. Why do I look like this? I, love I look like the older brother that got pulled into this. <laughs> How do I look? It is. We then did skincare and some journal prompts together. We've journaled many times together and I love doing this with them so much. It creates such vulnerable and honest conversations. I was trying to... Seamless transition. Welcome to my laundry filled bed. <laughs> it's been a little bit over a week since I actually filmed that video. And you're probably wondering, Haley, why didn't you film the outro right after you filmed this video? And the truth is I've been spending the last week and a bit trying to decide how to end this video. Because in all honesty, after my friends left that night, after having a wonderful day, spent working on my mental health, spent working on me as an individual, I had a meltdown. I don't know, dude, it happened. <laughs> And at first I thought, you know, this isn't relevant to the video. I'll just do a quick outro that's like, yeah, mental health is important and taking mental reset days is super important. <sighs> It's important to me to also be very authentic with you and honest with you the fact that even after doing all of those wonderful things for myself, I still had a meltdown. Dedicating time to your mental health is important. Will one day of working on your mental health fix everything? No. I was in a really tough place when I was filming this video and so it made sense that at the end of the day I had a little meltdown. It happens to us. <laughs> So what I'd like you to take from this video is that it's important to take time to yourself, but it's not a, a cure. It's not gonna fix everything one time. It's important to do this consistently. 
if you can and have the capacity to do. Anyways, that is all for me. Thank you for watching this video. I love you so much. If no one has told you yet today, I am so proud of you for putting in the work to yourself because no one else is gonna do it. So it's pretty fucking cool that you're doing it for yourself. Love you so much. See you in the next video. Bye.